That's a great on, initiative um, easy, easy. at this level and some really good running ah. also. Maybe it may be a good throw. A very good throw, good collection there. And that looks quite close. It does seem like that Tayyab Barif has dragged the bat well. Just when the bales are lit up, he some part of the bat is inside the line. That was mighty close. Just one frame here or there, and he would have been walking. Yeah, I have no problem with those sort of shots. Just to uh, take the spinner on. Platform is uh, remarkable. And run hard, double up to cell phone. Down the ground, he said it well. Good conventional. Has he split the gap? He has. Thread the needle, thread the needle. I hope they're okay, both of them, are they? They both slid this, you're right. He went straight over bowler's head. So he split both long on and long off. And it's long on who comes into the view now, just gets it hand or knee. What, what's the length? Is it Yorker? <laughs> Crack that out of the middle. He hasn't cut the boundary off. And that's what you don't want. Early on in, in the over is to concede a boundary. So he's got his length wrong there with pace on. I don't mind that length if he's going to go into the surface and bowl a slower delivery. I think what you've got to do as a bowler now is just take the medicine. You've been smashed. Now what you've got to do is try and think, right, what's the best? It's going to be uh, hard to keep him now under the 200 mark. That's been chipped away back at a square and that's back to back boundaries. Two and two. Such a good shot because he's coming at him because of the fact that mid off up. You cannot put pace on with mid off open bowl length. So he's trying to go over mid off over extra cover. And if he slices it, there's so much room over extra and over deep point. Arafat Minas is uh, now on the, the field as captain, and that has disappeared as well. Just getting it wrong here. And just got to just remember how they got themselves back into this game. I know the captain is off. And what I'm seeing now is Long on coming to have a word as well now and say, right, look at the field you're setting. You're putting pace on against somebody who loves to go over extra, a good driver of the ball. Doesn't look uh, too inconvenienced. That's leg side, and that's away again. So that's another four. Dot ball the first one, then four fours in a row. My goodness, it's disappearing. And all of a sudden, then now for the Sharks, and it is just falling away. That little three or four overs when they were bringing themselves back in to the game. And it is the Royals now who are finishing their innings off well. Combination now, Buffthard not getting it right after getting smashed in his first over, so he's uh, doing it tough. Got a captain out there who's. Small run, oh, that's a bad throw, and that might go all the way down to the boundary. And it does. They're facing a big total. Have a look at this. Benkenstein just turned around. He didn't do it deliberately, but he's just got to be a touch careful what's happening. They are now looking at stopping runs. The wickets are not the issue anymore. And that's a goal. He's just put a bit of boot to it. He couldn't. Outfield is lightning quick. That little boy packs a punch, doesn't he? Such a good shot. What he's done purposefully, Sekunda, as he's gone from down to up, so he gets the elevation to get the ball over the boundary. It's gone miles over the boundary. Good 20, 25 meters. 10 sixes. Again, a bad ball. Again, the same treatment. It's not helping. The Sharks are in big problem. 50 up for Tayabare, 52 of just 29. It's so tough to come out there and replicate what Chavez has done. But this boy is showing some talent. I talked about his maturity. He's taking advantage. He's the in man. And he's wrecking havoc. What a final the Royals are having. 193 for two. We still got 
three overs and four deliveries in this innings. Look at that stroke, for example. Oh, well, it's gone straight down the throat. But he had played it well anyway. But extraordinary is what we've seen throughout this innings today. Sekunda, they haven't done too much wrong. The bowlers, it has just been an unbelievable onslaught. What I like every time is when a wicket is lost and a batter has played well, the 16-year-old Tayyab Viv stands up and gives a innovation he puts his hands together and makes the boy feel special it is a special moment for him isn't it 56 of 34.